my friends, welcome back. Today we have for you a really special episode because we have a special guest, Pavel Cherny. He's the chief Hi. instructor of tactical shooting and all over the world. And today's episode we're gonna compare firearms versus throwing knives and also versus katana. We're gonna have for you a lot of cool tests. So let's get started. So guys, on the internet there are a lot of discussions like what would be better in actual fight and which scenario you think you would prefer, the firearm, throwing knives or the katana. Maybe Pavel you can tell your point of view about this uh, subject. So, uh, so many people ask me during my life what is better for self-defense, could be better for the police duty and so on. If is it more effective gun against knife, against katana and so on, uh, what distance is mm -hmm. better for firearms, for knives and so on, mm -hmm. for cords, weapon and we can see today. Ah, this is perfect. I suppose it's uh, not very good information in internet, so let's try it and it's the best. I suppose that uh, it's uh, some similarity in shooting in a Japanese sword and uh, uh, throwing knives. For, for my point of view, for example, it's necessary to be relaxed and uh, concentrate uh, together. It's uh, very spiritual, something like uh, Zen Buddhism, I, I feel it. Mm -hmm. So. I respect uh, very much uh, both of my friends, Pavel and Adam, and uh, really we will be enjoying today's tests. We can definitely also mention from the start that uh, most of the fights are actually happening in the distance from two up to six uh, meters. Is that yeah, right, Pavel? Yes, yeah, this typical distance, not only for private weapons, self-defense mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. for normal citizens, mm -hmm. and also for police work. I mean, shooting against some criminal, armed criminal and so on, mm -hmm. this is max usually seven meters. Ah, okay, okay. Because if you think about it, all these weapons could be also effective. I can throw effectively throwing knife up to six meters, no problem. And also Master Jakub can actually reach, since the katana is longer, he can actually reach faster these distances, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, as you tell, it's a problem of context of using of these weapons because mm -hmm. in the fact uh, nobody will attack in Japanese world in contemporary world. Uh, evolution is evolution and of course, uh, of course uh, uh, guns is uh, most effective but uh, we are uh, using our martial arts for a study of past and uh, Japanese yeah. culture uh, and uh, f for self-development. It's the uh, main reason for also practicing of uh, shuriken or knives or, or Japanese world. It's a lot of joy uh, uh, in this way of self-development uh, by the uh, noble way of martial arts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two years ago we showed uh, in the social media uh, one picture and my colleague and me with pistol, with katana sword and so on and uh, we ask people uh, who will be winner <laughs> and depend on the distance, depend yeah. who is master of the weapon, yes, yes. of the gun, we will see today. Today you have actually guys there, you have three people that are pretty good with these weapons, so I think it's going to be a really cool test. Maybe we can, let's go into it, right? Yes, yeah. perfect. Okay. So guys, in our first test, we're gonna be using our everyday carry and we're gonna be drawing, throwing, shooting from the holster and the sheet on the time. And everything you're gonna see on the display because katana, it's impossible to hidden since it's such a long weapon, right, Master Jakub? Yes, yes, only way how to hidden katana is like this. <laughs> 
<laughs> but impossible draw from it. <laughs> so definitely first test how fast we can get into the target. Maybe just short distance, right? Let's okay. go. Let's Point. do it. As gun, I use this pistol. This is typical police pistol, but this is training system. Training system FX, a special for police duty. One cartridge in chamber, but I have to use my trigger like this, double action. This is not so easy for me. Our distance to the target is three and a half meters. This is typical distance for self-defense, for police action and so on. Let's be tired. All right. Are you ready? Stand by. And the pole time is 0 0.88. Very good. All right, guys. So it's my turn and I will be using these top dogs by Wolfland and the leather sheet for my fast draw all right and we all gonna be using the same relaxed position so hands like that right yeah right. distance three meters distance three meters we can try it okay let's go Down. let's do it ready prepare So my first attempt was pretty fast, but check it out guys. This is actually pretty crazy penetration and it's very hard to pull it out. So in the combat scenario, you want to throw like this, that will cause some serious damage. So uh, I am using my favorite sword make in half of 18th century by uh, Sagami no Kami Yoshimichi. Uh, it's my favorite uh, sword, about uh, 70 centimeters uh, length of the blade uh, with carving of Kurikara uh, uh, motif. It's a dragon and a sword. And uh, of course, even uh, I will uh, start from relaxed position. Why? Because only touching of handle of sword was in attack in old Japan. So if two samurais was walking in the street and one was uh, touching the handle of sword, it was suddenly fight. So for this reason, the relaxed position is very important, not only in shooting and uh, knife throwing, but in the case of Japanese sword as well. So, let's go for the test. Are you ready? Sayou de gozaru. One shoot or one cut, uh, sometimes is not possible be enough. Mean, I mean during the fight. This is reason. Let's try three shoots. Ready? Ready. Stand by. Three hits. Time. 1.42 I'm not sure if I'm gonna be fast like a Pavel because I cut my finger really bad so I will be using my offhand but let's see if I can make it like uh, under two seconds I would be happy so let's so, try are you ready? yeah Stand by! Not so bad. If I would have maybe tactical sheet using my main hand, I think it would be a little bit faster, but not so bad. But of course guys, if I would have my knives in hands already and use different technique, I think I would be definitely way faster. Let's try. Let's be tight. Adam, are you ready? Ready? Stand by!
now I will be cut three times uh, cut called Miki Kesa. Previous cut was uh, Ryote uh, Hitari Kesa. Are you ready? So they go down. Stand by! The fast drawing could be for nothing without accuracy. Let's try accuracy and very, very fast. I mean the first shoot. Ready? Stand by. Very good. Zero, nine, four. And also nice accuracy right in the middle. That was a great shot. And of course, Paul is using, that's just a practice weapon. I think with a normal block, you would be definitely way, way accurate. So Adam, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. That was pretty good one. Also in the middle, pretty good time, nice penetration. So, Jakub, are you ready? You can you move. Stand by! The second situation, two enemies, one front of me, second behind me. How quickly I could hit them. Ready? Yeah. Stand by. Very nice time. Two shots, 134. Very good. So now, same test, but I will try two ways. First, I will just use my right hand, but the second time, I will use both hands. And let's see how it's going to be fast. Yeah. Okay. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Ready? Stand by! And now the second way. Adam, are you ready? Ready? Stand by! Excellent! Very fast. So now it's uh, Miki Hidarino Teki. First situation uh, is when my enemies are in the left and uh, right from me. I have to do my battles for drawing and cutting them. And second situation is uh, first my enemy is behind me and uh, uh, second is in front of me. So let's start it. So Jakub, are you ready? Sayo de gozaru. Stand by. Are you ready? You can you move. Stand by! Alright guys, and in other tests we have two targets and on them we have balloon. Each represents the body and Jakub is trying to hit head balloon on the other side and Pavel this one. Let's see who is going to be faster. The balloon has to pop. All right, guys, so you ready? You can you move. Ready. Stand by. And now we can see a duel between throwing knife and gun. Gentlemen, are you ready? Stand by. So, the last situation. The sword against the knife. So guys, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. So guys, that was definitely super interesting test, 
but I think most of the scenarios since we are in the 21st century would be Wiener firearm but maybe Pavel want to add something but I could have bad grip with my weapon I can have problem with my clothes I can have so, so many malfunctions and so on and advantage of this other weapon is no malfunctions no, no problem with no ammo, <laughs> no quantity of the ammo so, thanks a lot guys, thank this. you so much Pavel, yeah. thank you for your cooperation, I enjoy it thank, thank you. you for your attention it was really amazing to have both of these gentlemen guys and you, let me know in the comment section below what do you think is better it's firearm, katana or the throwing knives let us know and also if you want to see more tests like this one we can definitely do it guys but for today that's it so thank you everyone for watching share like comment subscribe and see you next time